301 terabytes per second. Dude, I thought it was I thought it was awesome because my I finally got a gig at my house. 301 terabytes per second over fiber. Uh, in partnership with the National Institute of Information and Communications Technology in Japan and Nokia Bell Labs in the US, Aston researchers were able to transfer data at 301 million megabits per second using standard optical fiber. Um, now this is interesting because because the the thing here isn't that they were able to transmit a whole bunch of data. It was that they were able to transmit a whole bunch of data over existing fiber. To me, that was pretty cool. Now, the way that they did it, that's the big question, right? Alongside the commercially available C and L bands, they used additional spec, additional spectral bands called the E band and the S band. Now, those bands traditionally haven't been required because the C and L bands were perfectly capable of providing all of the capacity that consumers need. Well, now that they opened these up, it was pretty interesting. It's remarkable. It does not require new infrastructure to drastically improve internet speeds and could allow significantly faster internet speeds through existing fibers. And they did it by transmitting different colored light, you know, frequencies. That's all this is, just multiple frequencies. And so they found these other frequencies that they pushed across. They hit 301 uh, TB per second. What? He lost me at all the bands. I don't know what all that means, but then he said frequencies and light. Okay. All this says to me is like, holy crap. Like, because all the, you know, everything you hear about internet speeds now is you get your gig or you maybe got 18 gigs and you know, big big markets get more gigs and like you, when you go from you go from gigs to terabytes and we're talking 301 terabyte like oh that's all that's a lot I guarantee internet service providers are like licking their chops they're like we're gonna make some money that's just crazy to think about what you can the data you can push that's I don't know. But that's getting, at least the the type of technology that we would push through that, you know, whether it be video or audio or those kind of things through that type of that type of bandwidth. Either ISPs or internet service providers are going to find a way to limit it, and it'll make a bunch of money for them, or it's going to be so readily available that they're going to lose money because someone's going to come along, get access to the infrastructure, and sell it so darn cheap, and give so much of it away. That's what you know. I'd love. I don't want to pay much for it. (laughs) 